Member of the Natural Resources Committee, Mr. DeFazio of Oregon. The gentleman from Oregon is recognized for a minute and a half. Thank the gentleman. So when the Republicans passed their shutdown bill, did they not know it was going to close down the national parks? No, they knew that. But in their little bizarre echo chamber, they thought the American people would rise and applaud their move to shut down everything that relates to the government. Instead, they've gotten a big raspberry, if not an invitation, to read between the lines. They're a little bit surprised and shocked. Now, what did they leave out of this bill? Yeah, we'll reopen some national parks and other iconic places. They left out 155 national forests, 20 national grasslands, seven national monuments, 28 Job Corps civilian, civilian conservation centers shut down. That's thousands of kids working hard to get an education, get skills, thrown out in the street. You ever visit one? I've been there. I can't believe you guys would shut that down. 440 wilderness areas. 560 national wildlife refuge units, including locking out hunters and fishermen. Come on, guys. All BLM managed campgrounds. There's only one reason this bill is on the floor, and it's because the, their constituents love iconic national parks and monuments, as the Republicans just learned, much to their chagrin. They can't take the heat from the government shutdown they're responsible for. What's next? This is whack-a-mole. What is it tomorrow? CDC preparations for flu season? That's kind of important. Still shut down. How about our Capitol Hill police are keeping us alive and guarding us every day who are having their leave canceled and they're not getting paid and they're still standing out there? Are you going to put them on the list? When are you going to take care of them? Put the whole government back to work now. Expire.